Hi, I'm Kurt from CryptoTradersPro.com. Every month, I host the Bitcoin Cash and Satoshi Vision Merchant Adoption Meetup. So I've been getting requests to do another day in the life of Kurt. On the last video, you got to see one of my weekdays. This time, let's go over my Saturday. One Saturday, every month, I host the Bitcoin Cash and Satoshi Vision Merchant Adoption Meetup. But let's rewind. My Saturday always starts the same way. I wake up with my wife, we spend about two minutes saying good morning, then she and I rush out the door to Alliance Jiu Jitsu in Chicagoland to fight with our friends for about three hours. For those who don't know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a full contact submission grappling art from Japan that made its way to Brazil in the early 1900s. From there, the Gracie family brought it to California and founded the Ultimate Fighting Championship in the 1990s, I think it was 94. I train five or six days a week and I run our fundamentals program. I am a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach. And in many ways, my life is almost all Bitcoin and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. After the gym and a hot shower, it's off to Fulton Market in Chicago to talk about Bitcoin. This month's meetup brought us folks from all walks of life. A Chicago Board of Trade professional came in to learn about trading opportunities. A local restaurateur came to learn about accepting Bitcoin at his business, and we're going to be setting him up over the next couple of weeks. And a programmer came to discuss Bitcoin app development. Per usual, a few regulars showed up, and we had a good time playing arcade games, having a few drinks, and spreading the love of Bitcoin. I taught people how to use a few basic wallets, and we shared transactions around the table. And I answered questions about the ins and outs of what it's like to use big block Bitcoin. We talked about BCH and BSV. I've been a Bitcoiner since 2012. Went through all the forking madness. I've been a, I've been employed by a couple of cryptocurrency companies. I'm currently a full-time technical analyst, trader. I, I do fundamental an analysis and I do, um, I host a podcast and I do a lot of speaking engagements. So I'm kind of in the education side of the business world of Bitcoin, but I have some varying expertises around there. So a lot of what I look for is like, who are who are the people mining a blockchain, for example? Because that's like the infrastructural side. And it's just like you wouldn't invest in a, a real estate project that didn't have a good, uh, you know, cement supplier. That's the kind of thing that you need to know. Monero is another one of my favorite projects because it's just really, really unique. It's one of the only cryptocurrencies that isn't based on the base Bitcoin uh, code base. It splits my transaction into multiple outputs, mixes them with the outputs of other people who are transacting, and then it might send my coins to you, but it might send his coins to you. So it makes it impossible to track who paid who. So I'm a big believer in, in Bitcoin. I, I think Bitcoin itself from a network protocol area is brilliant, potentially the most brilliant invention in the last 50 years. But you know, it has limitations. And especially if you look at BTC, you know, purposely limited itself. Like I, I've been part of the scaling debate since 2015 from which Bitcoin Cash sprung and all of that. But Bitcoin, they only want to have one megabyte blocks every 10 minutes, which has a it's, a, it's an arbitrary capacity limit. And then it makes it that if, you know, when there were 400,000 transactions a day on BTC, the average fee was $50. And that makes it 
frankly crazy. <laughs> I like Bitcoin Cash because they're like, well, we'll raise the block size, so we'll open that up. In my opinion, that's more like taking a free market approach. Like, rather than having developers arbitrarily say block must be this size, let the market decide. If a miner will mine a bigger block, let them. I think a better question is like, would you would you rather be Lamborghini or would you rather be Toyota? Well, it, it depends, right? You know, it's like, well, I don't know. I mean, if you're the CEO of, of either one, you're doing quite well. But as a business model, do you want everyone to drive your car? Or do you just want elitists to pay you a lot of money for each car? There's value to both. And so I would say like, if, if BTC is that Lamborghini, then Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV are the Toyota because it's like, there are people that simply don't have the base capacity to earn Bitcoin and use it in their life. In fact, most of the world is living on. So primarily I train large cap coins. Like I don't trade a lot of small cap, like penny stock kind of coins. Um, so something like Litecoin or Monero are major coins, tens of millions of dollars a day in liquidity, which is small to a serious equities trader, but it's, uh, you know, it's enough. It is gonna change. You know, from there, it's like, if, I, if I'm aware that Monero is going to announce, so Monero just became the exclusive cryptocurrency of Fortnite, which is a video game that everybody plays. Yes, so if you wanna buy the Fortnite, I think it's V-Bucks, you can buy them with Monero on their official store, yes. That just launched this week. If you're going to Masternode, I think proof of stake if it has any value at all, needs to be tied to proof of work. And Dash does that. So Dash is a fork of Litecoin, which is a fork of Bitcoin. So think of Dash as Bitcoin with bigger blocks, faster blocks, and a masternode layer. Yeah, for sure. No, that's a great idea. And that's actually like, that's my, like our main business is trading, but that was really only because that's what the typical newcomer is interested in. It's like, hey, how do I make money in Bitcoin. And so I try to turn it into like, all right, well, first of all, Bitcoin is money. So let's think of it that way. You need fiat currency to pay your mortgage, whatever. I get that. So trade for profit. That's great. But if we use it in commerce, like let's assume, what if every hot dog place accepted Bitcoin, right? Well, then all of a sudden, I need to buy Bitcoin to buy the damn hot dog I want. Well, that creates demand, which creates value, which I mean, that's the point of the whole thing, right? I really like that idea for, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll put you on the map. I, I do marketing for the whole crypto space. Yeah, so that sounds great. There's a couple of good Bitcoin books. I really like, uh, there's a book called How Money Got Free. Um, I forget who the author was, but it's basically kind of goes over like the history, the founders, like the people that started the first businesses in the Bitcoin space and like how much trouble they all got into. So like, yeah, I'm gonna start an exchange. And when you're the first Bitcoin exchange, and you've got, like the first Bitcoin exchange was in Manhattan. So you've got like the SEC down the street who's like, what are you selling people? <laughs> like this is, it's called How Money Got Free. I do, I do this one monthly. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, teach people what's up, get, get them using crypto. If you, actually, I've got 10 bucks worth of, uh, Bitcoin Cash, so if you wanted to do, um, let's see, if you want to download the Bitcoin.com wallet, I can send you some, show you how that works too. Recommended wallets and stuff that makes sense. So if you go to, this is the Bitcoin.com wallet, uh, there's my meetup funds here. I've got, you know, 10-ish bucks. Super simple to use. Now it says less than a penny, it's typically about a tenth of a penny. So right now it's bundling it to broadcast it to the network. Usually it needs face detection, so if I'm out of the shot, it might not. Bam. So come join us at the next meetup on the last Saturday of every month, or you can check the meetup, uh, which will have a link in the description. After the meetup, my wife and I got some dinner uh, with a friend and we made our way home. If you like our content, please click the subscribe button, like, share, and leave a comment. And please check out the newly redesigned CryptoTradersPro.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Kurt Wooker Jr. Thanks for watching.